Hey you guys, how's it going? This is Chris and it's week 51 of its tea time. I'm going to split this question today into two parts. Um, so the first part is why do you think there have been more and more kids coming out and being recognised as trans at a younger age? Um, for me, I'm going to base my answer on this question on more so in other parts of the world maybe. Um, I've been watching a, uh, a couple of FTM videos from some guys who have been quite upset about an apparent trend that's been occurring in some parts of America where some women in the lesbian community are apparently walking around stating that they're FTMs um, when they are uh, not taking any hormones and not having any of the surgeries um, and according to these FTMs these women are just abusing the title of being FTM um, just so that they can either um, pick up women or um, to have that male privilege of having that label of being FTM. Um, <clears throat> so I've seen a lot of criticism about these um, videos and yeah, a lot of controversy about it from either way. Um, a lot of the FTM guys that I've seen make these videos are, you know, quite quick seems to judge some of the younger guys who are coming out as trans on YouTube um, stating that these guys are just more studs apparently that's what the these other women are being um, identified as and um, yeah that this is apparently just a trend that, that keeps happening and there's due, due to that there is like quite a large amount of people that are coming out as being and identifying as trans um, in, in these parts of America. Uh, we haven't had that sort of thing happen in Australia. I, you know, I'm not in a position to be able to um, state an opinion on that. I, I don't really know what the go is with that as I'm not in those states and, and seeing that for myself. But um, possibly some of these women are genderqueer or they feel like FTM some of the time or maybe they don't want the hormones or don't want the surgeries. I'm not sure, but it just seems like there's quite a, a like, a, big debate on this um, increased number of people coming out as trans um, who originated from the lesbian community. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, with us here in Australia, we um, don't have the level of awareness for that sort of thing to even come about. People are not aware of trans, especially FTM um, guys and their existence. If anything, trans women aren't known about, but it's really not that much that, that um, is known about them. So education is not something in Australia that I would say has been a reason for why more people have been coming out as trans, though I do think that it's probably a very big reason in other parts of the world where there has, where there is education in primary school um, and high school. I'd say in Australia the reasons why people have started to come out because of two factors. One is that society has changed over time a lot. Um, it's not so rigid anymore, labels are being questioned, um, you know, it's a safer place for trans people um, to be able to live as well as, you know, gay and lesbian people um, and other group minority groups as well. Um, like a lot of people used to be stealth um, going back 30, 40 years ago, um, heaps of people lived as stealth or just tried to ignore the fact that they were transgender and live in the um, body that they were born in. We don't live in a society now that's so um, contained like that and we do have more expression, freedom of expression of being able to be more of individuals and who we are and not um, stereotyped into such black and white roles. Um, <clears throat> so society changing I think is a huge um, factor for more people coming out as, as being trans. There's just a general sort of awareness. Um, there's more resources like the internet is huge, I think, and a really, really big reason why people at a younger age are coming out. Um, everything to do with technology increasing with the internet, uh, radios, television, things like that, we're able to connect with other people around the world and um, learn learn more about what's going on in, in, in other cultures and with other individuals and things like that. So young people are therefore able to use access to these resources, especially the internet and look on um, YouTube, <coughs> sorry, look on YouTube, um, look in Google, 
type in you know whatever they want to and be able to try and find some um, either videos where they see other guys that they can relate to on YouTube or look at some of the videos and go oh, I don't really relate to that um, and same with being able to find resources to to help them like with therapists and things like that on the on the net so I reckon that the internet has a really big big reason uh, a big part of the reason why people are able to come out they're able to yeah find more knowledge about it um, you know back in 30 40 years ago there wasn't so it wasn't openly discussed like it is well not that it is now great but it's it's it was a lot worse back then um, and they didn't have those resources back then so um, obviously that closes people off to being able to connect with others and maybe figure out that this is part of who they are um, and not live in a closet or be stealth um, stuck in their gender that they don't feel comfortable in so I think that yeah just that's pretty much in terms of part one of the question what I think and the second part is do you think this is good or do you think that there is potential for problems by allowing a child to transition at a younger age I think there's pros and cons to this um, and I've gone over this a bit in the last few videos um, <clears throat> you know I think that if a kid gets therapy and they're really headstrong and they feel um, that this is this is how they feel this is how they've felt for years and maybe since birth and um, you know like it's it's not a phase and that sort of thing then I think it's really really important to be able to have that option for kids to transition when they're younger um, it'll stop a whole heap of problems that um, older people going through transition had to suffer like with the psychological distress um, depression rates of suicide um, hate crimes for people that are especially like trans women who um, it can be pretty obvious for a while um, that they are transitioning into the opposite sex and things um, and as well as trans guys but especially with the trans women I think that um, hopefully those hate crimes would be able to um, decrease because if a person's transitioning when they're younger I don't think it's so obvious um, the trait yeah boys and girls just don't look sometimes they can look really the same when when they're kids um, <clears throat> and obviously the cost of surgeries and things like that isn't going to be a problem if you're transitioning um, when you're younger so a trans woman um, will be able to develop breasts and a trans guy won't develop breasts so you know just going through the, the heartache and the cost and the stress and stuff of surgeries um, isn't an issue Obviously there's cons as well, um, there always is to this sort of stuff, but you know, I think there's more pros and cons though, that's just my opinion. I think that if, um, the biggest problem really is if the child changes their mind, um, which I think can happen with an adult anyway, you know, but it's important then for a child to obviously um, be getting a lot of therapy and to feel that way for maybe quite a few years before they are uh, given hormone blockers and things like that to make sure that this is definitely how they feel. Um, and I guess the other thing as well is that you know a child might feel that they are the other gender when possibly they're genderqueer or an element of neither gender or um, testing their gender and things like that. So yeah, that's the other con I think that um, a child might realise when they're when they're older that they are the opposite sex. That there was something in the middle. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for me. So I will catch you later. Bye.